Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this Inktober with me. Well, I guess I decided to do uh, 31 days of uh, drawings with ink and I will be adding on top a little bit of the watercolors because I do also want to improve on my drawings. So I was thinking that could be something fun for you too. And we will do, I'm, I'm not planning to do any very, very difficult drawings, but something that we can work, uh, work with and something that we can learn on our drawing skills and also our shading skills and so why not it will be fun I was thinking we could start today with something a little bit simpler I did a few sketches here just to try it out to see how it goes from the mushrooms couple few mushrooms those are those very very dangerous mushrooms so uh, well I guess I will be using I decided to designate this watercolor book from Hanimula to uh, this ink tober and this is 200 GSM watercolor paper so I will just remove this paper we don't need that anymore and we're gonna start so you can see I haven't even opened this sketchbook I will start with my pencil I won't be starting with uh, with a pen if you're feeling comfortable you can definitely start with your pen so I will be doing a three three mushrooms one a little bit bigger and two a smaller ones this is just for the composition and here I was just trying some shading so we will give it a try so first we're gonna draw that I'm gonna place it a little bit to the left not completely uh, in the center I'm gonna get this towel like that so I wouldn't place my hands and maybe some grease uh, slightly this paper so I will just do one cap and I will gonna I'm gonna start with a round cap like that half circle and just do a little bit wiggly line downwards like that and then just on top add that little little cap a little bit different caps so we can now erase that I did not mention that I will be using this uh, ink pens from Etcher these are number 010305 from their uh, ink pen set and I do love those very very nice and gorgeous set you get a lot of different uh, a lot of different ink pens and also I will be using this uh, this pencil this is a 4B because I do want the sketch uh, to be visible to you but of course you can use a little bit lighter pencil this is HB you can use a little bit lighter pencil so later on you won't have trouble uh, raising and removing it uh, I will I will not press hard so I hopefully I will be able to remove it later on so now I'm gonna add some some of those circles on our crazy mushrooms this is just a sketch so I'm planning to erase that later on just a few smaller ones like that so maybe I'll add one more here so this is for the head of the mushroom and then we're gonna do the body so just curved line like that so it doesn't have to be perfect don't try to make it perfect perfect you know this should be a little bit thinner than our lower part so I will just erase that make it slightly slightly thinner like that and then just moving on to the second one second one we're gonna do slightly curved so like this one I'm gonna do again and it's gonna go in front of this one I'm gonna do again half circle like that and then add the cap in the upper part like that and then just add that lower circle and to that line we're gonna place our the body of our little mushroom like that so we can now remove arrays I do have another eraser I think it might be better this one is a little bit softer 
So just remove the lines that are not necessary here so we can follow our sketch. Like that. So that's it for the second one. And for the third one, I will place it, uh, make it a little bit taller. So I'll just go again here, do that half circle like that. And ju then just do the body. And this one is going to be a little bit larger. Again, the cap and then just remove the lines. We don't need any more like that. So this one is front view again. Just we're gonna just make just one a little bit more complicated, not all of them. So I will add, make that a little bit thicker like that. So there, and then we'll just add with pencil also some ground here like that. That's our sketch. You can of course add more mushrooms. I won't, I won't complicate our sketch. I'm going to try it, uh, try to make it as simple as possible. And we'll also be adding a couple of dots on those, but I'm going to do that with ink pen. So for the lines and for the, for the borders, I will be using this 05. This is the thickest I'm, I'm going to use. I have also prepared 03, 01, but I'm, I think I'm going to use 01 for a lighter shading and a little bit darker shading 03. But of course you can definitely use one pen. Just uh, when you want to add a little bit thinner lines and lighter lines, just uh, tilt it on the side. Don't use it like this but just tilt it on the side and you will be able to do a little bit lighter. So I'm going to start with these and this is going to be now quite full line. Usually you probably, if you follow my channel, you probably know that I do love to make sketchy lines, but this time I won't be doing sketchy lines. This time lines are going to be full like that. Then wiggle, and this one, just wanted to, you know, put a composition in and make those outer lines. So like that, and then we'll again add some ground beneath them, like that. So also I'm going to do those dots now using this larger ones. And they don't have to be perfectly round, you know. You can again make them wiggly, slightly wiggly. Like that. There you go. And also we'll do a few on here. Larger ones, smaller one. Like that. And the last one, there you go. Those are our mushrooms sketched, the first sketch. So I will just erase the pencil underneath right now. We don't need those pencil lines anymore.
like that. So I'm gonna So these this is the first well the outer border is done so I will now switch to that uh, zero one I will I think I will it's easier always to add a little bit more of the shading but it's hard to take it take off so I will start with a uh, lighter with the thinner and lighter lines and then go add a little bit thicker and a little bit more shading if necessary so I'm gonna start with the largest one and I'm going to place the part, the highlighted part, light part here. These parts are going to be a little bit lighter, so I'm not going to shade it there, add any shades there. I will start, try to somewhat follow the shape of your, uh, of your mushroom. It doesn't have to be perfectly followed, but you know, and just do one lines, skip the part where the where that uh, dot is, we're not going to shade that part. also going to do shading in that this direction that is how we achieve darker shadows with cross shading right you've probably heard about that I'm just doing my shades in few directions to make that part darker and then just going few of them I'm, go I'm gonna go out a little bit lighter and also we're gonna do some shading here and I'm not really comfortable so much with this ink for shading I do I did do it with uh, with pencils but not really tried it many times with pens so I'm just also learning how it behaves so just a little bit more of the Shadows up here, like that. Like that. So also we will add just a, some shadows here. they won't be so dark just looking like that where my light is falling and where those shadows are these ones are gonna be a little bit darker so I'm just gonna add here cross shading Out. 
just few lines inside. And I'm just gonna do a few cross here. Like that. So this is the well this is that first mushroom done so since the light is falling here we're gonna think where the shadows are on the lower part on its uh, little body stem and so it's going falling like this it's just casting shadows going needs to be a little at least dark as this part so like that now uh, we're gonna move on to the to the second one to this one this one is quite similar shape to the first one so we're gonna do quite similar cross shading and positioning of those shades Cross shading again skip the part where the where your white dot is to leave that one visible and again a few shades here on the lower part some shading on this side a little bit Again, lighter, going slightly inwards here. Some few uh, cross shades. <clears throat> Like that again just beneath the in the head it's gonna be our darkest shadow on the body so like that some shading here I can see again like that there you go and the last one I'm just also looking where and adding those shades on the sides to just try to think of the shape of that mushroom and with the shades just try to create the shape so this one follows like that and we're gonna have inside of a mushroom here I'm gonna go those you know how it just has those lines inside so just the nearest we're gonna make them darker smaller and very very dark and just going outwards a little bit less of those and make them slightly lighter looking like that so I did do a curve just thinking the shape how it would be shaped inside so now again we have light falling here but since this one is curved slightly the shadows on it will be a little bit smaller they won't go so deep but just a little bit smaller and again a little bit of shading 
on this side like that so again falling from up but this time it won't be uh, 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 highlights will be just on the edge because this one is slightly curved so the lightest part will be here I'm gonna go again from up so this is gonna be that lightest part just doing those again curved lines because this is how this mushroom is shaped and there you go I don't want to overcomplicate things so I want just a little bit of the now I'm gonna go switch back to that number zero five and add some shadows from my mushrooms like that I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be done with this I as I said I don't want to overdo it and make it too complicated on the first one so let's not let's just make it slightly easier I do want to do one thing just looking for that zero number five and I do want to add make that part where those where those uh, dots are slightly curved like that going a little bit outside the borders of a mushroom like that so maybe you want to make those dots slightly darken those borders for the dots I mean Like that I like it better now when I've added this one here just when I've added making it look like it is something on the mushroom and not just the, the dot flat dot so this is now done with ink and you can stop here of course this is inktober so I'm gonna do I'm gonna write up here I'm gonna write up here mushrooms so it's gonna be the first one mushrooms and now I will of course you know me watercolors ink and watercolors I'll be adding a little bit of the ink on top just a little bit I'm not gonna add too much just a little bit and I will be using I'm just looking for this this is from Etcher a watercolor palette you know that this is uh, th these are red we will just add a little bit of the watercolors and of course if that is your preference I have here actually some leftover of the red uh, if that is your preference you can add some uh, masking fluid to the parts where those circles are I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna add a little bit of the water and you have to make sure of course that your uh, ink pen is waterproof I'm just gonna add a little bit of the water maybe slightly smaller brush around the around those circles 
and on the head of our mushroom like that so a little bit of red I'm mixing it in with something that I already have on my palette some pinks so just adding and I did slightly go overboard so it's gonna bleed but that's just fine and if you go onto your circle like I did just straight away pick up the paint there you go and I'm gonna just add a little bit of the pigment around it like that just a little bit more or saturated tones here especially in the part where the shadows are I do want that part to make it slightly darker with even with my watercolor so I'm adding a little bit more of the pigment there a little bit less in this side and I'm just gonna get a little bit of the yellow I really do need to clean <laughs> my palette and just tap it in here and there against some yellow like that it will mix in with my paints and there is water some water sitting here and I want that so I'll just help it bleed slightly from the from the mushroom like that here also I'm gonna get these now just to save pin here so it doesn't warp my paper doesn't warp there you go like that so just let it bleed slightly I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the yellow mix it in with and then do some couple of splatters just to loosen up the entire sketch and again with a little bit of the red I'm gonna go here on these and I won't be so careful with these as I was here for the upper one these are gonna be looser even more just a little bit of the red here also a little bit of the red lower part and then just smudge it there you go here also a little bit of the yellow to the both of them it will mix with that red and create beautiful orangey color so like that and for the for the body we do need some browns I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of the yellow and just have this you can see very very light color just to add like that a little bit on one side and then we're gonna get just a little bit more of the brown just tap it in here on this side I'm using quite a large brush so there is a lot of water in my brush there you go and just with this little bit smaller one I'm gonna go on here just upper part where the darkest shadow is a little bit maybe top in in the lower part and that's it that's it just a little bit more of the greens 
just gonna get some green here and that's it now I will just do a couple of splatters with that red also there you go and I'm gonna get I have some white gouache here so I will pick up just a little bit of the white gouache and add a couple of splatters with the white gouache and here is again paint sitting I don't want it to I don't want any edge to be so visible so I'm just gonna move it slightly like that like that like that so our first inktober well drawing painting is done you can add a little bit more when this uh, slightly dries you can just get a little bit more of the red and I'm gonna mix it slightly with the brown just a little bit and then just go beneath those circles like that to make it slightly more maybe 3d just to create some shadows beneath the beneath them and just again soften that shadow there you go doesn't have to be perfect just to add a little bit more pigment there and now we're really done so I hope you enjoyed this first October Inktober and I hope you decided you're gonna join me into the others also I do believe we will have a lot of fun I'm planning a lot of things so I'm not gonna say anything about exact plans because plans do change a lot <laughs> over the time, at least mine. So I will just let you know when the time comes. But tomorrow there is second Inktober or October 2nd. So join me in the next video and we will practice together some drawing, some painting, loose painting. And I believe we will have fun. So guys, thank you so much uh, for watching, for all your support. If you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That really mean a lot to me. Maybe consider even joining my channel. And that's that join next to the subscribe. And again, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.